RDR2 got a DLSS update before we had a new NVIDIA driver, and I and many other people have already re uh, released videos testing it out. This is the game running on my RTX 2070 at native on the old driver, but there's now the new driver, which I'll update to and edit into this video in a second, but I want to compare it to the original, both for performance as well as visual quality. One of the biggest things I'm curious about is if somehow the driver could fix the hair issue. By the way, I don't want to tell you how long it took me to figure out how to take off my hat by going into my horse cargo inventory stuff. Anyway, <laughs> so there's my hair, there's the uh, horse hair, and uh, this is all at native, no DLSS, and you can see the performance here in this scene. I'll also probably edit in some side-by-side -side benchmarks of native and DLSS quality at, on both versions of the drivers here in just a second. Let me prove to you my graphics settings here are at the maximums. And then we'll switch over to DLSS. By the way, I'm on windowed borderless because I have an ultra-wide monitor. If I go into the full screen mode, which might get me a little better performance, it stretches the video on my monitor. Anyway, so uh, this is just the default, uh, default maximum settings. We're going to now switch to DLSS quality. Apply that change. And let's take a look. So a lot of people have complaints about the hair and you can see kind of a checkerboarding. I didn't notice this as much in my initial impressions video because I was wearing a hat. You can see it in the horse tail, the horse mane, and the character hair. And I agree, this is the worst thing about the DLSS update. Let me reset my averages up there that you can see in the corner. Um, and had I not been wearing a hat, I think I would have noticed it <laughs> a little more in my initial impressions. So you can see my frame rate going up a bit here. We went from 4950 up to like 5556. It's not the greatest gain in the world, but it does help get me closer to 60. All right, guys, I'm gonna install the uh, new driver and get right back to this scene and we'll see if anything is improved performance-wise or um, graphics-wise, especially on that hair. All right, we're back. I'm on the new driver and this is at native settings again. By the way, look at the birds. See, there's no ghosting. Let's check if there's still ghosting on the birds uh, when we switch on DLSS. I noticed it in my uh, last section that you just watched, but was, you know, an hour ago for me. Uh, anyway, so this is back to native, and I want to retest native because sometimes a driver update will improve native performance or hurt native performance. Uh, so let's make sure we're still getting around that 49 uh, to 50 range that we were getting in the um, uh, old driver. Let me, you know what, let me hit the, the refresh on that. That middle FPS number is the average. I just refreshed that while I'm running around the horse. So we're definitely in the same ballpark. I feel like I remember it being more like 49.50 uh, before and now we're at like 51 kind of as, as the average here. Not a huge difference, if any, and again, I'm not even sure if the game spawned me in exactly the same location. Okay, let's take a look at the hair. Let's switch on that DLSS, and once again, you'll be able to see that I was running the same graphic settings as before. Once again, the default ultra with um, the windowed borderless for the same reasons. All right, let's go to DLSS on quality, apply changes. And let's hope the hair got fixed. That uh, still looks a bit checkered to me. What do you guys think? Any improvement at all? I'm not feeling like it. So looks like this did not solve the checker uh, checkerboarding on the hair. Let's watch some birds fly by. We still see uh, some significant ghosting. So very significant ghosting if you just saw those ones on the right fly by. Not every bird has it, but uh, certain birds uh, get, some, uh, get some ghosting. Let's see if we can see any here. Those ones not too bad, but we did see a bit there. All right, let's run around and get a uh, benchmark running around the horse. I think I was running this direction before, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, um, yeah, that checkerboarding on the hair is still pretty dang obvious. 
Okay, guys, I'm kind of feeling like we've got roughly the same performance, and I'm still seeing the same sorts of graphical issues as before. So I'm a little let down by this driver update. Hey, my horse just pooped. Anyway, <laughs> let down by this driver update. But I'm gonna do a quick uh, benchmark run and show you guys some side-by-sides on that. And uh, just to see if in the actual benchmark we get any measurable improvement that's not showing up here just running in circles. I'll go ahead and give you my final review of Red Dead Redemption 2's DLSS implementation while we watch these benchmark comparisons. While I was initially impressed with some of the image improvements over the native TAA, Temporal Anti-Aliasing, implementation, which is quite blurry, I was underwhelmed by the overall performance gain, which is about 15 to 16 percent, and it's confirmed in these benchmarks here as well, over native. And especially given that that performance gain comes with major image artifacting like the terrible checkerboarding pattern affecting hair. I had high hopes that this new driver would at least fix the image artifacts, but was let down. And as this benchmark reveals, there were no measurable performance gains, uh, at least on my RTX 2070 at 1440p, uh, when comparing the old drivers to the new drivers. While the in-game benchmark reported minimum frame rates that were lower on the old driver, at both native and at uh, DLSS quality settings, when I measured the 1% lows using MSI Afterburner, it did not show the same results. I am still glad that RDR2 has the DLSS implement, uh, implementation since it can be such a demanding game. And while there are some improvements to the image, the hair artifacting is extremely disappointing and distracting. If you are going to use DLSS in this game, be sure to keep your hat on. Also, to address a few common comments on my last two RDR2 DLSS videos, no, I'm not CPU bottlenecked. That's why there is a CPU usage indicator at the top left, and the GPU usage is near 100% the entire time. So that is not why I'm only getting a 15-16% to 16 performance gain. Also, 15-16% to 16 isn't anything to sneeze at, really. And, of course, I don't use ultra settings when actually playing the game. I got a million comments saying to use hardware unboxed, optimized graphics settings. Yeah, this ultra setting is for the purpose of benchmarking, so achieving a solid 60 frames per second on my RTX 2070 is definitely possible by tweaking the settings, even without DLSS. I just using, uh, I'm just using maximum settings here for the benchmark purpose. And, as always, a huge thank you to my subscribers, who are all beautiful people, and an even bigger thank you to the best people in the entire world! The people who clicked that join button down there and became my channel members and financial supporters. Thank you so much. I hope all of you, everyone, even if you didn't subscribe to the video, have an excellent day.